Donald Trump has hit out at the FBI in a series of angry tweets. He claimed the agency's reputation is in tatters. He also denied asking the ex-FBI chief, James Comey, to drop an investigation into his former national security adviser, Michael Flynn, who was sacked for lying to the agency about his contacts with Russia. The president is under renewed pressure after a tweet on his account implied that he knew Mr Flynn had lied to the FBI. Meanwhile, Mr. Trump's personal lawyer, John Dowd, has now said that it was he who drafted the tweet, which he said was a mistake. Earlier, I spoke to our Washington correspondent, Laura Bicker. It is rather odd. We didn't know that Donald Trump handed over his Twitter account to anyone. Uh, but now it appears that his personal lawyer, John Dowd, drafted this particular tweet, which is odd in itself because it seemed to imply that President Trump knew his national security adviser had lied to the FBI, which is a criminal offence. And then, remember, the day after he fired Michael Flynn, he is, has allegedly gone to James Comey, the former FBI director, and urged him to drop the investigation into his former advisor and then of course he fires James Comey. That sequence of events is what has uh, led to many raising a few eyebrows and wondering because of this tweet whether or not President Trump is guilty of obstruction of justice. Well now his personal lawyer says he wrote it and in fact uh, he says I'm out of the tweeting business I did not mean to break news but a lot of people will look at it and wonder whether or not is this suspicious? And did President Trump really know Michael Flynn had lied to the FBI? It still raises those questions. Yes, the timeline there, as you say, Laura, uh, very significant. And then uh, Donald Trump is accompanying all of this with a series of tweets, basically a tirade against the FBI, uh, calling it the worst period in the agency's history. Well, it undermines the whole investigation. He believes that James Comey has made many mistakes. He believes that the investigation into his former rival, Hillary Clinton, should have been far more rigorous. And, of course, uh, there were those chants of lock her up. They uh, he had called his supporters and he had called uh, for further investigations into Hillary Clinton. In fact, he's done so recently. But I think if you look beyond that, this is something that his supporters will love. The fact that they believe Hillary Clinton was guilty, one of the reasons why they voted and, and uh, wanted Donald Trump in office, and they believe their man. They want their man to be able to do what he wants to do in Washington and not be undermined, uh, in their view, by this Russian investigation. So when it comes to Donald Trump's claims that this is a witch hunt, that the FBI is in tatters, that's what it's doing to, uh, with regards to in the minds of his supporters. It undermines the entire investigation and elevates him in their eyes.